Hi, my name is Liz Kramer, and I'm here from the Rice County Historical Society. Today we're going to be talking about Bishop Whipple. Bishop Henry Benjamin Whipple is a hugely important part of Faribault history. Most people remember the bishop as an older statesman long settled in Minnesota, which he certainly was. What people often forget, though, is that Bishop Whipple was a young man facing a lot of tension within the state and the Episcopal Church when he first came to Minnesota and began his ministry. Whipple was born in New York in 1822 to revivalist Presbyterian parents who taught him ideas of racial tolerance and justice at home. He was sent to boarding schools and then Oberlin College, which was then considered radical for accepting women and other groups. Whipple married Cornelia Wright, who he had known since elementary school, and followed her example of devoutness. He began to read the Bible more often and more intentionally, and then he was baptized and confirmed soon after. In 1849, Whipple was ordained as a deacon in the Episcopal Church, and he began to serve at Zion Church in New York. He was then ordained a priest and continued his work at the church. In 1857, the Whipple family moved to Chicago. While there, he was elected the first bishop of Minnesota. After reflection, Whipple accepted the position and a pay cut to come to Minnesota. Bishop Whipple left his wife Cornelia and his six children while he began his first winter in Minnesota, without a house waiting for him and at a pay rate of $1,500 a year. Despite the hardships of leaving the more settled areas of the United States, Whipple was determined to succeed in his mission. His family would follow later. The Episcopal Church was experiencing divisions at this time. The northern and southern dioceses were divided by the Civil War. Minnesota was also deeply divided at the time, with hostility rising between the United States and Native American groups. When tensions erupted into the U.S.-Dakota conflict, Bishop Whipple maintained his vision of a church that displayed justice and mercy for all. Bishop Whipple was an advocate for Native American groups. He maintained this advocacy throughout and after the conflict, when many desired vengeance over actions taken during the struggle. Bishop Whipple pleaded for justice in the aftermath of the U.S.-Dakota conflict and for pardons for those who were to be executed after the war. Whipple would continue his work in Minnesota for 42 years, and his work always followed the tradition he set as a young man, facing a divided church and divided neighbors. His views can best be summed up in his response to being asked if he knew that everyone was against him, to which he replied, but God is on my side, and that makes a majority. Rice County Historical Society, preserving the past for future generations.